Hello guys, welcome to Bugs in Code. The problem that we are going to solve today is best node. But before that, if you are new here and a person who likes stuff related to coding, then you can subscribe my channel so that you never miss out an update. Let's start. Here's the problem statement and it says that you are given a tree rooted at node 1. The tree is given in the form of an array P where PI denotes the parent of node I. So it's a kind of parent array. And the uh, parent of root 1 is uh, always minus one because it's a root node. Every node i has a value ai associated with it. Uh, at first, you have to choose any node to start with. Okay. After that, from uh, from a node, you can go to any of its child nodes. You have to keep moving to a child node until you reach a leaf node. Every time you get a new node, you write its value. Okay. Let's uh, let us assume that you have a path uh, integer sequence path uh, which is b. So let us define a function which says that a uh, function is something like uh, b1 minus b2 plus b3 minus b4. So it's a kind of like, let me write the function. So this function is basically like summation of minus 1 raised to the power i b i from i equals to 1 to i equals to k. Now I have to maximize okay the problem says that you have to find the maximum possible value of this function b so i have to maximize the value of this function uh, one example is also given here so let me explain the example the example says that you have three nodes okay and you have a parent array which is minus one one and one and let me also write the node so for one parent is minus one for two parent is one for three parent is one Okay, I'm also given a, a value, an array which shows the value associated with each node. So it is kind of 1, 2, and 3. Now, the first step, uh, let me draw on the tree from this parent. So the tree will be something like 1, 2, and 3. I can choose any node. According to the problem, I can choose any node. So let me choose a node which is, uh, let me choose, okay, let me choose a node which is 1. So from 1, I can either go to 2, so it's uh, 1, 2, 2, and I can either go to 1, 2, 3. So by doing this, uh, I will have a series of 1 and 2. So I will do value associated with 1, a of minus a of 2. After that, I can also have 1, 2, 3. So I will do a of 1 minus a of 3. And what else I can do? I can even uh, start traversing from like this 2 and in this way I will have only 2 and I will have only 3 so I will write a of 2 here and a of 3 here this is what the problem says the problem says that you have to travel uh, from like every node to the child until you uh, reach the leaf node so this is what I am doing here and if I write this value so this value are something which is going to be this value are going to be like this value is 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 and this value is minus 2 and this value is 2 and this value is 3 so out of all these value I'm going to return 3 and 3 is going to be my output I hope you guys are clear with the problem statement and let me just now move to the solution by looking at this problem uh, the first approach that comes to my mind is try out all the ways like if I have 3 like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 if I have a tree like this so what I can do is I can try out all the ways like from this one I can go to 2 I can go to 4 I can go to 8 and from this one I can go to 2 I can go to 5 from this 3 I can go to like from this one I can go to 3 I can go to 6 I can go to uh, 7 and now this is for 1 similarly I am going to do it for 2 as well I am going to do it for 3 as well I am going to do it for 4 5 6 7 and all the nodes so it's kind of O of n square approach and in this approach what I'm going to do is for every, every node perform DFS perform DFS and return the maximum value so this is what the brute force approach says and without any uh, deep explanation because it's a brute force let me just uh, implement this approach so this is the problem uh, geeks for geeks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement uh, like my brute force approach so I will have a tree like I'm implementing the tree as a directed acyclic graph uh, because this is what exactly a tree is. So, tree is equal to new array list of integer. 
after that i'm going to allocate the space for all the nodes so i will do three dot add new array list after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to traverse my parent array from my equals to one because uh, for zero i have like mm, minus one as my parent i don't need this uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh, find my first node parent as p of i and my current node will be i plus one so my node will be i plus one and i'm going to draw a directed edge from my parent to the child this is what uh, a tree is. so tree dot get parent dot add node this node out. so this is what our tree is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a answer so basically i'm going to perform dfs for every possible uh, like node so for i equals to 1 to i smaller than n these are the nodes that i have and i'm going to write my answer as maximum of my answer and a function dfs which i'm going to call so dfs okay so this function is something which is going to have my current i and a and one more variable a which is a uh, zero so what variable i will tell you let me write a root and i will have an array list of of array list which is my tree and after that i will have a very value a and after that i will have k k is something which keeps on increasing when we perform dfs because we need a minus one raised to the power k is n. so if my current root uh, like if the current root has no children uh, this means this is nothing but leaf so for the leaf i'm going to return simply mat dot power minus one raised to the power k cross a of root minus one root minus one because it is following one base indexing now i'm going to have my uh, maximum value as integer to mean value so this maximum value is going to be uh, storing the maximum uh, solution for all the children so i'm going to have my children as like tree dot get what i'm going to do here is i'm going to have my uh, all the children so root now uh, my maximum will be maximum of current maximum and solution for the like for this particular children so i'm going to do 3 a and k plus 1 which is very important now at last i will do max but i will also add the current root value in this node of so minus 1 raised for k cross a of like root minus 1 it's quite simple let me just uh, run this and check whether it works or not Okay, I'm not returning any value here, so let me just an answer. Saying that uh, at line number 91, I have something which is error, so let me write semicolon here. And now let me try to run this. It may have compilation error, let's see. It's showing that um, at dot max answer. Okay, so I should have my answer as long. So this is uh, what the brute force approach is. It's working for the example test case. Let me just uh, submit it. Okay, so this is brute force approach and it's working. But what I'm really interested in explaining you the optimal approach. Uh, the complexity of this approach is O of n square, which I've already uh, told you here. So now I'm going to move to the optimal approach. So what we can do? Let me first uh, draw the tree again. So I have tree like 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. What we are doing is uh, we are uh, performing the DFS for every node like from this 1 I can go to 2, I can go to 4, I can go to 8. From this 1 I can even go to 2 and 5, from this 1 I can go to 3 and 6, from 1 I can even go to 3 and 7. So I have so many ways for only 1. What I am going to do here is. If I do something like uh, I start DFS from this uh, 8 so from this 8 I will move to 4 so I can have this path as my answer from this 
8 and 4 I can move to 2 so I can have this path as my answer and from this 8 I can go to 4 2 and 1 so I can have this part as my answer when I do, when I do so so I'm avoiding the DFS for this 2 to this leaf node 8 isn't it and from this 2 uh, I can even go to like this 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm when I perform DFS for this 5 so I'm going to check for this 5 mm, 2 and from this 5 to 1 so these are the path that I can that I can have so uh, like for this subtree for this subtree the uh, DFS that I was normally calling was uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 so I was calling 5 DFS but when I do for this I am only calling 2 DFS can you see the uh, can you see it only uh, in 2 DFS I have solved for all these nodes at least for these four nodes because from this one I can even go to three and I have not uh, done with this part yet but if I perform DFS for all the leaf nodes then I can avoid the DFS for like four two one and three uh, what I am what I'm interested in just considering all the paths like one one to two one to uh, like two four one to four eight similarly two 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 four eight and similarly four eight so why do I perform DFS uh, like three DFS for these three paths instead what I can do is I can perform uh, only one DFS it will be more uh, Understand if I draw a skewed tree, like if I have tree like one, two, three, four, and five. So I will perform DFS for this, 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 and this. Can you see it? I'm performing five times DFS, but instead I can perform only one DFS. And in this one DFS, I will be able to find uh like for this five, five, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, two, and five, four, three, one. So this is what I'm going to do. But the problem is, problem is let me uh, explain you the problem that I can have the problem that I can have while doing this is since uh, uh, I have a series like uh, P1 minus P2 plus B3 minus B4 and plus P5 and so how to achieve uh, this type of series with doing a DFS problem because the problem that I can have is like if I have a tree like 1, 2, 3 and 4 so for this if I start from this one so I will have some as 1 minus 2 uh, plus 3 minus 4 but when I start from this 4 then I will have a series like 4 uh, if I keep track of one variable then I will have 4 minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 isn't it so don't uh, we do not need this series so instead what we are going to do is we are going to do some mathematical magic which is going uh, which is going to give me the same series how i'm going to do it let me just uh, dry run this because dry run is something that is going to help you uh, understand this and after that i just move to the optimal approach so for this four i'm going to write when i move to this three then whatever my series is i'm going to multiply it with minus one and then i'm going to add three so I will have minus 4 and plus 3 second time after that what I do is uh, I have now here this as my series so when I move further then I multiply this series with minus 1 so I will get uh, like 4 minus 3 and then I'm going to add 2 so isn't it the series that I should have uh, when I start from this 2 when I start from this 2 this 2 should be negative and all other values should be inverted like should be positive and inverted for this on the solution for this so this is what i'm going to do like whatever i have i'm going to invert all the values multiply with minus one is something you know simply inverting all the sign uh, and after that i'm going to add my two as my positive value so after that at last i will have this series multiply with minus one so i will have minus four plus three minus two and after that i will add two. So isn't this series the same as this series? Yes, of course. So this is what I'm going to do. Each time, uh, so I will start my answer as I will have my answer variable. Let's take answer or I will have my value equals to zero. And I will perform DFS. One more thing that I have to tell you that performing for uh, this tree from leaf to root is something which is comparatively easier. Why? Because 
we don't have to build tree so building tree is something which is which can be avoided here now how we are going to perform dfs for each uh, node like i'm at four so i'm going to just move to the parent of four isn't it and after that when i'm at three i'm just going to move the parent of two and when i'm at this two so i'm just going to move to the parent of two which is one so this is how i'm going to uh, perform the tf now what i will do is i will start my uh, value equals to zero and each time i will uh, do something like for each node first i will uh, do something like value is equal to value into minus one node and after that i will add uh, the current node data so value plus uh, value equal to value plus uh, a of nn uh, which is my current node so i will have a current node which will be leave and while my current node is not equal to minus one, minus one when i will reach minus one i will reach minus one uh, when i will have something like root so the parent of root is something which is minus one so at that point i will reach minus one and i will end up uh, with my dfs so while my node is not equal to like um, minus one i am doing this much stuff so after that i will move my node as parent of node isn't it i hope you guys are clear what i'm actually doing here and now uh, i'm going to implement this approach so this is my screen and i'm just remove this template and now what i'm going to do is i'm okay i'm going to give you a very interesting way of uh, storing all the leaves like um, it is the first question that comes to our mind that how to get all the leaves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a hash set which is going to store all the uh, parent nodes so what is basically like if i have a tree like okay let me uh, move here if i have a tree like uh, this okay so uh, let me Okay, it's not working i don't know how but uh, let me show you here if i have a tree like one two three four and five and six so for this tree how to find leaf node first of all i will uh, find all the parent node and all those nodes which are not parent simply because leaf has no children so there is no way that a leaf node will be a parent so let me just uh, write here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to store all the parent nodes so how i'm going to store parent nodes for int k uh, into p like in current node in my parent array i'm going to do some like parents node parent nodes uh, add current node so now i have all the parents and i'm going to traverse all the nodes from 1 to n and i'm going to check whether it's a parent node mm or not so this has set is something which helps us to perform the operation just of one so i'm going to do something like if not a parent nodes dot contain the current node so in that case i am going to store leaf nodes so leaves dot add i'm going to do something this i and now let me have uh, an array list of integer which is leaves uh, instead uh, write leaves after that I have all the leaves node and I'm just going to perform the DFS for every leaf node so I'm going to uh, all the leaves and now uh, I will store the leaf into current node and while my node is not equal to minus one i've already explained you why i'm doing this so this is uh, what bfs looks like parent of n n minus one uh, because it's following one base index so this is what uh, the dfs looks like so let me have my value here which is equal to zero and each time i will do value cross equals to uh, minus one and now i have inverted the sign of all the uh, like numbers in the series and i'm just going to add the current uh, node data so it's something like minus one after that uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to keep track of the maximum answer that i can have so answer is going to be something which is uh, maximum of answer comma value 
now is there something else i don't think so so i'm at last i'm simply going to return my answer but where is my answer uh, let me declare my answer variable as okay so it should be long so long answer is going to be my minimum value let's see whether it works or not so let me submit it let's see what it says okay so you can see that it's working for the example test case and let me just submit the solution let's see whether it works or not okay so it's working for all the test cases and so this is all about this problem i hope you guys like the solution and